Anna! Boom! It's got the Sunday afternoon bike ride. Yep. Hannah flying. Hannah! Got a dog on the run. Sitting on way ahead. Hannah wants to catch up. There's a big bird right there. Nice day for a bike ride and a hike if you want to do that. Oh, would you look at that? A raft. Let's see what the ducks do when the raft comes and rains in their territory. Wait for it. They're like, uh, come on, boys. It's coming after us. Let's get out of here. Yeah, this is the route it took nearly every day all season to get prepped for losing weight and hiking the Highline Trail. About a four mile loop from the house all the way around the trail and back. Kids doing what kids do. Climb trees to try to break a leg or something. I'm not going any further. Whoa. No, no, no. This little dam that controls the water flow into the Jordan River. There's a bunch of uh, open area, a bunch of campsites, playgrounds. There's a boat ramp over there if you want to access Jordan River. More campsites, and there's the trail. Or you can take it south down there towards Saratoga Springs Old City Center. It's a camp host. Hey. Climbing a tree in flip flops. What the heck? There's a trail access in the dog park. Yep. And there's a dog. There's my dog. Time to time lapse this trail. we go again from the bridge northward bridge at Willow Park We had a flat tire on one of the bikes right near Will Park. Take the shortcut back. Cut through this little field right here. <laughs> get back to the neighborhood road. Go get the truck. Go back to Willow Park. Pick up a disabled bike. how these trips go sometimes all right we got the disabled bike taken care of it's being loaded in the red truck over there we made the swap and I'm back on the trail there's this little lake right here they put in it's kind of a hot spot for 
people in the area fishing. You know, I guess they stock it with trout and bass and stuff. Nobody there today, but other than one family over there. But it's pretty popular. I mean, there's a lot of people there on the weekend, even on the evenings during the week. Busy little place. All right, I've picked up where I left off. That was a shortcut route to the neighborhood. I don't know that I'll catch the others. I'm too far behind, but I'm at least gonna finish this section of trail to the Historically High Bridge. Coming up on the historically high bridge. Popular place for many kids to trespass and climb out on it. Jump into the lake, or the river I mean. But not so much this year because last season they had a kid jump off and drowned and didn't, didn't make it. So they've been monitoring this pretty close. They got it posted. So, hopefully nobody else will get injured or lose their life. Sad story. This trail is frequented often, all day, every day, year round, even when it's in the winter. It's a great place for people to, in these neighborhoods right here or close by to stop in and Go for a short walk or a bike ride. Then you cross the main road there and you can come down to this area down here called Olympic Park. There's another access point to the trail. Plus there's a parking lot back there by the historically high bridge. But, I don't know. Been on this trail many, 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 many miles over the years. All right, made it to the access trail to Olympic Park. There's one access there. There's another one up here. We'll go through that and make our way over to the parking lot. All right, made it back to the parking lot of Olympic Park, a little pavilion here. Popular place on the weekend for soccer and other sports. Picnics and other things. Alright, we're just gonna ride the roads back to the back to the house. Yeah, it's good to have those urban trail systems that they put in throughout. Helps you be able to recreate even when you can't get into the backcountry on the wilderness trails. Pretty awesome. Love to see the American flag being flown. Pretty awesome. <laughs>